السلام علیکم میرا نام ہے سانیا امتیاز اور آج ہم موڈز آف کیپٹل آف ایکسپورٹ کس کو پڑھیں گے دے آر مینلی فور موڈز آف آپریشن آف کیپٹل الیکٹرک فورسز دیز موڈز آر گیون ایز کیپٹل ایز زون الیکٹرک فورسز سی جی ای کیپٹل ایز جیل الیکٹرک فورسز سی جی ای کیپٹل ایز آئیسو الیکٹرک فوکسنگ سی آئی ای ایف اینڈ کیپٹل ایز آئیسو ٹیکو فورسز سی آئی ٹی پی capillary zone electric forces it is the most commonly used method of capillary electric forces cge is also known as free solution capillary electric forces capillary zone electric forces is a highly efficient separation technique based on difference in the electrophoretic mobilities of analyte which in turn depend upon the size to charge ratio in simple words we can say that capillary electrophoresis uh, so capillary zone electrophoresis uh, is depends upon the electrophoretic mobility which uh, which is depend upon the size to charge ratio the higher the size to charge size to charge ratio the more uh, quicker the separation take place it takes into account the ratio of particle charge to mass where those with large charge to mass ratio separate from the rest one therefore the larger the ratio or quicker the separation in addition to electrophoretic mobility of molecules cze is highly is heavily dependent on application of constant electric field throughout the capillary and on ph of the buffer uh, instead of uh, its dependence upon size to charge ratio it's also depend upon the constant electric field uh, um, throughout the separation and also on the ph of the buffer capillary gel next one is capillary gel electrophoresis in capillary gel electrophoresis a gel forming medium is added acts as a molecular size to produce separation based on the molecular shape and size in this case we have to um, we have to added a gel forming medium upon which molecular says produces separation which based upon the shape and its size two types of gels are used in this type of electrophoresis uh, a gel with large pores and gel with small pore size a gel with large pore size uh, for example agro gel and small size like uh, um, polyacrylamide gel uh, large size uh, large pores uh, pores uh, gel is used for separation of dna and rna while in the uh, small size pore uh, is used for the separation of protein and small size dna it's a highly it's a great choice of macromolecules such as dna and protein separation next one is capillary isoelectric foxing capillary isoelectric foxing separate protein and peptides according to their pi value right so um here is example let's discuss that uh, uh, in this case the yellow color is uh, um, will be neutral at 2 okay what is the pi value pi value is also electric uh, isoelectric value um, so um, isoelectric is co value be kept so it's an isoelectric value uh, means uh, um, anything that will be uh, neutral yeah maybe neut uh, ne having a net charge zero at this value is called uh, is called that molecule isoelectric value so in this uh, um, example the yellow particle um, will be neutral at 2 ph red will be at 7 ph blue will be at 12 and at the end green will be at 5 ph will be i'm sorry at the 5 ph green will be neutralized when we apply i'm sorry they all of these particles will be filled in a capillary and when we apply electric field on them they will try to move towards their um then they uh, tend to move uh, so they tend to move towards their uh, api value and uh, um at the last here that yellow band will be formed at the ph2 and they will be separated from the remaining solution at uh, ph5 green particles will be separated out and they form their own uh, separate band and uh, at ph7 there will be again a band which separates from the remaining solution and that's and, and uh, there will be uh, and its color will be red and at the end uh, there is a band of uh, uh, blue color which formed at uh, ph 12 
so in this way we can separate protein and peptides uh, according to their pi value it's a highly resolution technique okay with a resolution of 0.0005 pi units and less right the molecules uh, with the uh, pi difference of 0.0005 will be distinguished by this technique amplifiers are used to form a ph gradient within the capillary we use amplifiers that create a ph gradient within the capillary and the protein to be separated migrate and the protein that we want to be separate migrate in this gradient through the amphilite medium until they become uncharged at their pi value so they start movement uh, here and there until they grad, get their neutral pi value the protein whose separation by other method can be problematic such as aminoglobins hemoglobins and dilute biological solutions have been successfully analyzed by capri isoelectric foxin next one is capri isotechophosphorus in this analytical technique selective separation um, we um, we use this technique for the selective separation of the molecules and for the measuring of their concentration right so this method can all can only be used for either enzymes and cations because these are used for the measurement of ionic ion life so that's why only the ions are detected in this method not both at the same time only at once um, like at the if we want to measure yeah you know, if we want to separate ketones and then uh, ketones will be and then uh, if we want to separate enine then enine at a time only one at a time the sample is added between two different buffers okay the and in this case the samples uh, will be added between two different buffers like right um, uh, all the remaining uh, um, zones yeah, methods we discussed on them only the one kind of buffer will be used but in this case we use two type, different buffers one which have high mobility in separation process is known as leading electrolyte so and the second is uh, buffer is the slowest component in the entire system slower than the sample molecule so um one with higher uh, mobility and one with lower mobility higher mobility will be termed as termed as leading electrophilite and uh, one with slower is termed as lowest mobility the width of the zones are proportional to the concentration of the analytes within them um first of all we can separate them by applying two different types of buffers so this will be helpful in the separation techniques so it will be separation um select separation for the components and uh, um, by uh, measuring their concentration uh, by uh, by the width of their band formation within the uh, uh, within the capillary and yeah, within the tube we can measure also its concentration in their respective uh, analyze so the width of the zone is uh, proportional to the concentration of the analyte within them for the example uh, we applied two types of buffers in a capillary one with highest mobility and one with lowest mobility uh, one with the highest mobility is termed as leading electrolyte one with lowest mobility is termed as terminating sorry termed as terminating electrolyte and uh, when we apply electric field on them the particles uh, um, in the bulk uh, in which are in color uh, red uh, blue and purple try to separate themselves and uh, uh, they uh, form their own band within the capillary according to their uh, mobility and the uh, purple one uh, and in, in the second diagram we can see that the purple are uh, separated out and then at the middle is the blue and at the end is the red and they have their own width by measuring their width we can determine its concentration in the analyte that's it thank you